When I first saw this limited edition, it was the first time I've ever seen it. This is my copy of Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, limited edition for the PS3. Um, just a bit of backstory, so ever since I bought my PS3, I've always hunted, looked, and bought a collector's edition whenever possible. Uh, I do this locally, of course. Now, obviously, when a new game comes out, it normally has several different editions that, that come out. So you have collector's edition, limited edition, special edition, etc. And also the game itself, the standalone game itself, right? Now, my local retailer normally announces this, and I would then proceed to pre-order it. Because why not? And they, no they, they normally announce this through their Facebook page. I found this while browsing Trade Me, which is our local uh, eBay. The reason why I said before that this was the first time I've ever seen it is because our local retailer never advertised this. And I didn't do enough research on what other editions are out there at that time. Plus, I only buy local. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta support your local retailer. Don't get me wrong, uh, I knew of the PS3 bundle with the, with the game, with Metal Gear Solid 4 because that was heavily advertised. And I knew of the other limited edition, which also comes with the exclusive Blu-ray and the CD soundtrack, because that is what our local retailer sold. I didn't buy it because I thought it looked plain and it didn't pique my interest at that time. Plus I wasn't into the whole Metal Gear Solid games anyway, right? So this is actually quite rare. I read somewhere that around 25,000 were made and they were distributed both in Europe and Australia. Uh, thinking, of it, thinking of it now, it's, it's weird that New Zealand never got them. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the box itself. So there we are. Right. Uh, now, just a reminder, I bought this game secondhand off of Trade Me. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit, well, it's not worth wear, but there's a, there's a couple of things here that you might have noticed. It's not. Um, you know, that's, that's a little bit um, out, off, so, you know, corners a bit uh, squished in there and there's a, you know, there's a lot of um, blemishes uh, on the front there. A uh, bit of dust, get that out of the way. And the back, the back looks fine, it's okay. Right, there it is, uh, there's the back of it. Okay, right, let's open it up uh, and take a look inside. Okay. So the, um, the case, the case itself, it's made of uh, plastic, as you can see here. So let's first of all, let's take out the whole thing, actually. There we go. All right, let's put the box all right outside. Uh, let's put the figurine there. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So, um, yeah, hold, hold, hold tight. Uh, first, there's the, um, there it is. You get the, the little, um, I guess, the little paper uh, insert there. Uh, that was in the back of it, right? That's just in the back of the, in the case. There we go. Let's put that back, and there we are, okay, I'll put this on that side. Okay, so the game itself, it comes um, in here, right, it, it sits in here, inside the silver, uh, silver box, case, whatever you want to call it. So let's see inside. We open it up, uh, we get two things obviously, we get uh, the game itself and the bonus uh, content. So, the game disc, okay. There it is. This is uh, if you if you buy the um, the retail the, the standalone retail version of the game, this is what you get. I, th I believe this is this is the cover that you get. Okay, uh, you know there's the back of it right there. Not to be sold separately, obviously. All right, let's open it up. There we are. There's the Blu-ray disc, uh, still in perfect condition, uh, which is uh, which is good. Uh, you get two things here. You get a booklet and a small leaflet. Uh, let's take that out of the way. There we go. So the leaflet itself, um, Old Dog, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, this is basically an advertisement for the, the complete official guide for the game, which is right there, right? Um, there it is, new tricks. Uh, I don't have the booklet, unfortunately, but uh, there we are. Uh, the booklet itself is, is fairly thick, and I think this is uh, it's, it's, it's well done, and it is interesting. Uh, so, if you open up the usual uh, front page, you get here the contents, how to set it up, starting the game, uh, the pause menu, controllers, uh, the controls, sorry, uh, the in-game screen, uh, and the corresponding pages uh, where to look. There's a little bit of a um, comic introduction here, which is a nice touch. And for each page, um, as you can see here, uh, the movement, walking, running, and camera controls, there's a bit of um, comic book art 
uh, on the very top, which also has some uh, text boxes in there as well. Uh, so crouching lying down, uh, you got here the map, how to open the codec, the octo camo, the threat ring from the small threats, large threats, all the way up to red threats uh, over there. Uh, action buttons, hanging, uh, equipping items, equipping weapons, the solid eye, the solid eye modes, uh, the Metal Gear Mark II, uh, stealing items, dragging enemy bodies, holdups, etc. The life gauge, the enemy alert mode, uh, the CQC, and what it all does. Uh, first person attacks, weapon types, weapon attributes, the driven points, uh, rolling, reputation, uh, what to do if. So if I keep dying, you know, obviously, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, this is all the tips in here. Uh, the enemy is blocking the way forward, can't use the weapons, etc. There's also a little comic um, here for Metal Gear Online. All right, there we are. And finally, the battlefield do's and don'ts. And then there's a path to Metal Gear Online as well. And then uh, this is a uh, photo of the Beauty and the Beast unit. All right, and finally, the last page. And there's the back of it. Okay. So there it is. Um, just a, uh, in addition to this, I also don't know if this is true or not, uh, but for me, the cover can be swapped. So just a reminder, that is the normal cover, right, in the back. But uh, if you take the, the cover out, you can actually see here that um, it actually makes sense uh, that you can, you know, you can change the cover, right? So if I put this um, on the front, if I do it like that, you know, it's, you see there, you, this, that can also be a cover. I mean, if you want a, a red Metal Gear Solid 4 cover, then by all means, change it. But there it is. Okay. But like I said, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's, that's uh, meant to, to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a red Metal Gear Solid cover. But uh, for those of you that do want it, you can, you can change it. All right. So there it is. There is the game. And next up uh, is the bonus Blu-ray disc and the soundtrack CD. All right, there's the case right there. If we open it up, uh, there is the bonus disc. Uh, there is the soundtrack right there. And you also get a leaflet, a warning spoiler leaflet. And it says, the Blu-ray disc contains several spoilers from the game. It is highly recommended that you complete the game first before watching this disc. And on the back, it shows you the contents of the bonus disc, as you can see there. And it also tells you what the uh, all the soundtrack uh, in there. So you've got the uh, Hideo Kojima's Gene, making a Metal Gear Solid 4, and the opening cinematics. But yeah, um, play the game first, finish it before seeing this. All right. And there's the bonus right there. Let's move that out of the way. Next up, we finally get to the snake figurine in the plastic uh, case here, uh, well, in the plastic mold, I would say. So let's, again, open it up, put this to the side. There's another plastic cover that sits uh, on top. So um, let's take them out of the, uh, of here, okay? Okay, so in addition to the figurine itself, as you can see here, oh, come on, let go, there we are. You get the assault rifle there. Here we are. And you also get the stun knife. It's a, it's a bit tiny, uh, but there it is. And then there's a little um, uh, plastic bit here that, that allows you to, to stick onto your snake's uh, left hand. Um, the figure in, in particular is a little odd, I would say, because only the top half have movable joints. So as you can see here, the legs, they're, they're, sta they're static, they're stationary. You can't move in legs. But if you take a look at the top, uh, you can move them around. As you can see here, the, the top torso moves around. Uh, his head certainly moves around. Right, there it is, the head moves around. Uh, you can move uh, his arms. Uh, you, can, you can twist his, uh, his wrist. Right? Similarly with the right arm, you can move that around. You can twist this, twist it, and you can twist the, um, uh, the, the wrist as well. As you can see there. Okay, so there it is. There is the snake figurine. It's, uh, it's very nicely done, nicely detailed. 
and like I said, <laughs> you know, when I got this, it was the very first time I, um, yeah, I, uh, I've seen this. Uh, but anyway, oh, I forgot to show you uh, where the knife sits. So the knife sits here. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a, like a little slot in there, a plastic, uh, a, an opening. And all you got to do is just, there we go, just like that. Right, and snake is ready for CQC. Okay. There we are. Let's uh, put him back. So, that's the way he holds his assault rifle. Boom, just like that. He's ready. He is good to go. Alright. Uh, but yeah, that's everything you get in the Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots Limited Edition for the PS3. Uh, now, if you're also wondering uh, whether I've played the game, the uh, answer is yes, I have played the game. Um, however, yeah, um, I, A, I can't remember where I stopped uh, uh, in the game, and two, I actually never finished the game, unfortunately. Um, I would have liked to finish it, but I, yeah, unfortunately I, I didn't uh, finish it. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And my next video is going to be on Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Collector's Edition, for the PS4. So don't forget to subscribe and get that notification so you don't miss out. Uh, hit the like button as well before you leave. Thanks, and see you later.